now we're changing out the transmissions from being a hopper box transmission to the transmissions used on the cone units. Just takes a little bit of fiddling with, uh, trying to get everything lined up. Um, but once it's on, it's pretty much ready to go. I want 28. 28 on top? Yeah, 28 on top. Right now we're just going to be uh, practicing, uh, making sure everything works right. And then uh, we're going to string a line down the edge of the length of the field. And then we'll go ahead and start planting. Uh, but we just want to make sure everything's working before we go ahead and plant the rest of the nursery. Either speed up or slow down, okay? And I'll tell you when to stop. I'll say ho, okay? Okay, there's not going to be anything really around that. Right. So you want to be able to go right about here. Some good water in here too. Mm -hmm. You should be having suit here because I can watch it go through. Maybe we go shallower. Okay. Keep digging. We've got to find this stuff. Is it not spinning in units? Not spinning in units. That's why I came off. Oh. This hits so Make sure all your chains are good. So a little bit about uh, planting research plots uh, with the cone unit is that uh, there's a lot of, of, of moving parts, but it's very simple. We've only got a few chains moving, we got a little bit of electrical line moving, um, but with even with simple things, uh, you know, things break. Uh, so the other day, whenever we were trying to plant a little bit of the nursery over there on the other side of the barn, uh, we had a patent link slip off when we were planting and um, had to go get that replaced. And it was about five o'clock at night and I uh, kind of wanted to quit, but uh, powered through it. We went over to the John Deere dealership, got a got a new patent link, and and got it uh, fixed right up. Uh, you know, and a few days after that, we had the breaker slip on us because we had the powers uh, backwards on our leads going in from the tractor's battery. Uh, you know, everything with that. There's always a little bit of of problems that that, that goes with planting research plots, but uh, you know, we power through it. We uh, we fix our mistakes and. You know, uh, like out today, we're planting the last little bit of the nursery finally. So with uh, using cone units, uh, one thing you can either have is you can have a dimmer switch that you can hit manually. Uh, like up here with this uh, little orange button right up here and trip the units here so that they trip every so often or you can use a cable uh, and you string a cable the whole length of the field and every uh, 17 and a half foot or 20 foot whatever your button length is between buttons uh, you string that across the field and when you those buttons roll through this mover or this roller right here there's a micro switch on the other side of this and when you pick up on that it trips those units and so um, every 20 foot, every 17 and a half foot, when you're planting that research plot, uh, you want to have a little bit of an alley. Uh, so what you do is you set up your gear ratios right here uh, so that these cone units spin, uh, spin out, as well as a few extra cells in here uh, before you hit that next button. And that gives you a little bit of separation before uh, you hit that next plot. Finally finished up here at the nursery, uh, planting the rest of the research plots. Uh, it's taken about six months worth of planting, uh, packaging up the seed, and and in every one of those six months, we're we're hitting the next step, we're getting the next plot ready. And you know what? Uh, I'm glad it's done. I'm glad we got it all on the ground. Uh, and I only had a few mistakes this year, but that comes with the year, and uh, we'll learn from those mistakes and we'll uh, try to fix them for next year. 
uh, try to hinder them from happening. And uh, uh, but overall, it's been a great year. We just got a little bit of sweet corn left here to, to plant. Uh, that way we got some stuff where the raccoons can come in and get, not get my corn, and we'll also have a little bit to eat, eat over summer as well. So uh, it's uh, very happy that it's, it, it's getting to a close and we can start seeing what type of corn and uh, what, what new varieties uh, we'll have in the coming years. It's supposed to rain this afternoon too, isn't it? Yes. Unfortunately. <laughs>